guys, it's John Bedwaffles Algets, and I'm here today with a quick little addendum. I was sitting here thinking back about the RPG Maker tutorial series, and I realized that I've never talked about vehicles. Whoops. I'm sorry. So I'm going to remedy that by teaching you guys basically everything that you need to know about vehicles. So to get started, we're going to go up here to our database and go to system. And if you see, we have our vehicle images here. We have a boat, a ship, and an airship. Now, each of the different vehicles have different, like, places that they can go. A boat can go on this lighter water tile, so sort of like rivers and shallow water is technically what it's called. A ship can go on the shallow water and in this deeper water, so it's useful for crossing oceans and things of that nature. And then an airship can go anywhere. It's like a zeppelin. It can do whatever you want it to do. It can go wherever you need to go. So first things first, you can change the images for each one of them by just double clicking and choosing a different image. Uh, by default, RPG Maker MV comes with a couple extra options. So we've got this like boat here. To me, I think that it makes more sense if it looks like this, kind of like this, you know, raft sort of thing going on, like something that Tom Hanks would have made in Castaway. So we're going to go with that. The ship, we're going to change that. No, we are actually not going to change that. We are going to keep that looking like a ship because that makes sense. And then the airship, we're going to make it look like a, uh, a hot air balloon because awesome. And that makes a ton of sense for how quickly it's going to be moving. Okay, so first thing you want to do when you're getting your vehicles set up is actually tell the game where it's going to initially spawn. So you can do it by just, you know, clicking on your little option box here in the starting positions and going to a map. And, you know, we're going to, you know, plop it there. Sure, why not? Okay, so the boat's going to wind up on land because I forgot which one I was clicking on. But anyways, uh, or you can go to your map and right-click and go to set starting position for the boat. Bam. There you go. So we're going to go ahead and do it with the ship as well. So ship and airship. Now note that placing your vehicles is rather important because they are a mode of transportation that is going to allow players to get past some of your naturally placed obstacles. So things like mountains, uh, rivers, things of that nature, if they have access to these vehicles, they're going to be able to go past them. So like, for instance, don't give the player access to the airship at the very beginning of the game, unless you're planning on taking that away super quickly for like some storyline reasons or something, you know, dole it out as they're progressing. It's something for players to look forward to and something for players to earn. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, give them the boat, you know, maybe after the first dungeon or something so that they can cross a river to another part of the continent or something like that. You know, give them the give them the ship when they need to go to a different island and give them the airship if they have to get into like a crater or if you want them to go all the way across the map or something like that. Just think, think about it gameplay wise and just decide when is best for your player to have access to that sort of movability uh movability i don't think that's a word what is the word i'm looking for um you know what i mean anyways so you can place them like that and then when you get in game how you use them is you go up to them and you press enter or z i guess sorry about the loud music uh, we will be actually be talking about the music here in a second. As you can see, this boat can't go into the deep, but it can chill here in the kind of shallow stuff. And I'm sorry about the clicking in my keyboard. I know that that is a problem. Okay, so let's go to the ship. Oh, I think I placed the ship in a dumb place. Haha, <laughs> I can't get to the ship. Give me one second here. That was a goof. So, ship. All right, so now let's go to the ship and we can go everywhere. Ha ha ha, we're 
sailing the ocean blue and we can go up this river because reasons yeah now let's go back and uh, try out the airship if I can navigate my way back over there that is haha so to also to get off just go to a place where you're landing or whatever and hit enter and your character will get off so with the airship as you notice like with the ship and with the boat I can't immediately stand on that tile but with the airship I can and you get into the airship by actually standing on it and then pressing enter now the airship is super quick holy crap you can go anywhere the airship can land basically on any open tile so like it can't land on trees but it can land on this grass here and obviously it can't land on water or mountains or anything like that but all right so a couple of things you can change that music that you were hearing by going to the music section here in the system of the database and you can change it you can mess with it you know do the volume pitch just like any other sort of music that you would or any sound effect you can change all the same stuff it's completely up to you um now let's say that you somehow got to a place where you can't get to your vehicle again but you need it to you know go go someplace so like like say for instance you went through a dungeon and wound up on an island and you can't go back through the dungeon and you're just stuck on this island and you need access to your ship you can make the ship appear somewhere else via an event so just create a new event and there's an event called with where is it do 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 do, do. set vehicle location so you just click that, you choose which vehicle. So we're gonna go with ship and we're going to put it here. Why not? So let's make this so it's actually something that's like, talk to somebody. So. Okay. All right. So now when we, in theory, when we talk to her, the boat will move over there so mm -hmm. okay see the boat moved hooray and now we can move the boat get off and we can talk to her boat moved all right so that's that's basically it that's really all that you need to know about vehicles um they're super simple they're useful for gameplay and storytelling uh but other than that they're just they're there there's it's not a ton you can change about them but there are a few things so uh if you like this video guys give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and of course uh if you want to see more stuff you can click on the buttons here on screen to go to other videos on my channel and of course that little round thing will help you subscribe so uh thanks guys and have a good one